We have new pictures uh, of the passengers uh, leaving the aircraft, uh, at least uh, immediately uh, as they were getting off it. And Tim Atkinson is still with us, uh, who's a former pilot and an air traffic investigator. And, and Tim, uh, your take on this imagery that we're seeing uh, of, of the passengers getting off it, I, I mean, it's interesting how many are on the slide at once. It's interesting the, the state of the plane as they, as they are evacuating. Well, the thing that strikes me most immediately is that it, it looks as if there's some kind of efflux from the number two engine there. By, by which I'm, I'm saying that it looks as if the engine may even still be running, um, uh, or, 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 or are we seeing some other reason why that why there is that um, uh, smoke and flames coming out of the back of that engine? It's it's, it's not extraordinary um, for an engine to be left running unintentionally, or indeed for a crew to wish to shut an engine down and the systems don't enable them to. You know the disruption that's occurred to the underside of this A350 here to its systems. Clearly, the nose landing gears collapsed. That usually takes out some structure. There's an awful lot of electronics, a lot of computing, a lot of wiring um, uh, under the floor of an aircraft. Uh, but it, it appears to me there that, that there are interesting questions about what that engine is doing. Uh, yeah, there are people flowing down the slides pretty well. There are some people assisting at the bottom of the slides. That's, that's good behavior as well. Uh, those slides are at a very, very shallow angle. That is impeding the speed of people down those slides. Slides are set up for an ideal angle at which people should slide down them at a rate that aids evacuation. We can see that that is the only slide operating on the number two or, or the right hand side of that aircraft. That's interesting as well. But equally, looking at what's going on further back, it's absolutely correct that that should be the only slide in use. Um, so, Tim, Tim just, I, just go, go into more detail for us your surprise that that you said E-flux, what is that? And uh, that, that you're seeing some kind of activity around that, that engine. Why is that such a, a surprise to you? That, that engine should be sitting there inert. No, nothing should be coming out of the back of it. Um, we can see a, a range of things going on underneath the, the center section of the wing there. But I, I'm seeing sparks um, coming out of the back of that engine in that imagery. I think I'm perceiving some rotation of the, the fan spinner, so the front of the engine. So it looks to me as if that engine may indeed still be running. Um, reasons for that, uh, it, one, potentially it hasn't been shut down um, by the crew. You know, the crew haven't attempted to shut it down. Two, um, the crew have attempted to shut down, but it hasn't responded to commands to shut it down, i.e., you know, they, they've done the actions to close the fuel valve, but the, um, the path uh, of uh, electrical and electronic items that enables the closure of the fuel valve and or the fuel valve itself um, ha have not operated as, as they should. Um, but that, that is very interesting to me. Uh, I'll be interested to see imagery from the other side of the aircraft. We can also see what appears to be some liquid coming out of the underside of the, 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 the center section there. Um, fuel, water, who knows? Something's been breached, there's something leaking out of there. Um, but focusing again on the evacuation, uh, it makes it all the more remarkable that everyone's off this aircraft in one piece, um, given that it appears uh, we've only got two slides at the front. And I think uh, there was video earlier showing that the rear slide on the left hand side of the aircraft uh, was also operating. 